Hello friends, welcome to the Netscune YouTube channel. Today we are discussing 10 interesting questions from Pediatric Nursing. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and share this video to your friends. Let us start first question. Hypokalemia is in an infant would be manifested by options muscle weakness and lethargy, hunger, hyperflexia, apnea. Correct answer is muscle weakness and lethargy. Hypokalemia in an infant would be manifested by muscle weakness and lethargy. The infant with potassium deficit has a muscle weakness and hyperflexia. The infant with a potassium deficit has a muscle weakness and hyperflexia. Second question, speech development may be delayed in a child with options, congenital heart disease, cleft palate, mumps, oral thrush. Correct answer is cleft palate. Speech development may be delayed in a child with cleft palate. Cleft palate is a birth defect characterized by an opening in the roof of the mouth caused by a lack of tissue development. Cleft palate is a birth defect characterized by an opening in the roof of the mouth caused by a lack of tissue development. Next question. Boot shaped heart in x-ray is seen. Options. Ventricular septal defect. Right ventricular hypertrophy. Tetralogy of fallage. Aortic stenosis. Correct answer is tetralogy of fallage. Boot shaped heart in x ray seen in tetralogy of fallage. TOF is the most complex congenital heart defect. It includes VSD, overriding of aorta, pulmonary stenosis, right ventricular hypertrophy. Tetralogy of fallage includes Ventricular septal defect, overriding of iota, pulmonary stenosis and right ventricular hypertrophy. So there, is, there are four conditions in tetralogy of fallet. From this picture you can understand easily. So there are four defects you can see here. First one overriding of iota here. Overriding of iota that means Iota is positioned directly over a ventricular septal defect. Overriding Iota means Iota is positioned directly over a VSD. Then here you can see the pulmonic stenosis. Pulmonary valve is narrow or too small. Here pulmonary valve is narrow or too small. Then ventricular septal defect. Here you can see the opening. Ventricular septal defect is a hole in the lower chambers of the heart. So, this is the two lower chambers of the heart. Here it is right ventricle, here it is left ventricle. There is opening between two ventricles, that is VSD. Then right ventricular hypertrophy. Here it is right ventricle. So, here the right ventricular hypertrophy you can see here is the abnormal enlargement of muscle mass of right ventricle is the right ventricular hypertrophy is the abnormal enlargement of muscle mass of right ventricle i think in, i think you understood this four so we can move to the next question weightage tip position is seen in option bell's palsy facial palsy Epps palsy, congenital dislocation of hip. Correct answer is Epps palsy. Weighted stick position is seen in Epps palsy. Classical sign of Epps palsy is the weighted tip hand. The newborn will keep the limb in the weighted tip position. Classical sign of Epps palsy is the Waiter's tip hand, the newborn will keep the limb in the waiter tip position. 
here you can see the position of the hand like waiter hand when he is demanding tip it's like this next question spalding sign in x-ray seen in option intrauterine growth retardation IUGR preterm pregnancy intrauterine death twin babies correct answer is intrauterine death spalding sign in x-ray seen in intrauterine death spalding sign Spalding sign, it refers to the overlapping of the fetal skull bones caused by collapse of the fetal brain. Spalding sign refers to the overlapping of the fetal skull bone caused by collapse of the fetal brain. So, Spalding sign in x-ray indicate intrauterine death. Next question, the most likely cause of iron deficiency anemia in a toddler is options a. Excessive milk intake which decrease intake of solid food, insufficient iron stores at birth, refusal to eat iron rich foods because of their unappealing taste, a normal physiologic occurrence during the toddler years. Correct answer is excessive milk intake which decreases intake of solid food. The most likely Cause of iron deficiency anemia in a toddler is excessive milk intake which decreases intake of solid food. Excessive milk intake limits ingestion of iron rich foods. Excessive milk in intake limits ingestion of iron rich foods. Iron fortified infants cereal should start at 6 months of age. Iron fortified infant cereal should start at 6 months of age. Next question. Hypothermia treatment will most likely put a client at risk of the development of options emboli, respiratory alkalosis, metabolic alkalosis, excess ADH secretion. Correct answer is emboli. Hypothermia treatment will most likely Put a client at risk of the development of emboli. Circulation slows at low temperatures, which predisposes the client to the formation of emboli. Circulation slows at low temperatures, which predisposes the client to the formation of emboli. Inside the blood vessels, you can see the emboli. Next question, the nurse is making assessment of a full-time neonate. The observation that is considered normal is options, heart rate 90 beats per minute, jaundice in the first 24 hours, uncoordinated eye movements, nasal flaring. Correct answer is uncoordinated eye movements. A nurse is making assessment of a full-time neonate. The observation that is considered normal is uncoordinated eye movements. Uncoordinated eye movements are a normal finding in full-time neonates because they have poor control of eye muscles. Uncoordinated eye movements are a normal finding in full-time neonates because they have poor control of eye muscles. The normal heart rate of neonate is 120 to 160 beats per minute. The normal heart rate of neonate is 120 to 160 beats per minute. Our option, it is given 90 beats per minute. Jaundice in the first 24 hours is considered as pathologic jaundice. Jaundice in the first 24 hours is considered as pathological jaundice. Nasal flaring is a sign of respiratory distress. Nasal flaring is a sign of respiratory distress. Next question. Rickets is due to the deficiency of options. Vitamin D, vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C. Correct answer is vitamin D. Rickets is due to the deficiency of 
vitamin D. Rickets is a disorder involving softening and weakening of the bonds of children. Rickets is a disorder involving softening and weakening of the bonds of children. Rickets is caused by lack of vitamin D, calcium or phosphate in your child. Rickets is caused by lack of vitamin D, calcium or phosphate in your diet. Hemolytic disease in newborn is due to options neonatal jaundice, RH incompatibility, anemia, kernicterus. Correct answer is RH incompatibility. Hemolytic disease in newborn is due to RH incompatibility. RH incompatibility occurs if a woman is RH negative and her baby is RH positive. These antibodies can cross the placenta and attack the baby's red blood cells. RH incompatibility occurs if a woman is RH negative and her baby is RH positive. These antibodies can cross the placenta and attack the baby's red blood cells. RH incompatibility can be treated with medicine RH immunoglobulin. RH incompatibility can be treated with medicine RH immunoglobulin. Friends, thanks for watching. Please like, like this video and type your valuable comment below. Please share this video to your friends. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. And thanks for watching.